a lot of soundbars promise real 3D surround sound with Dolby Atmos, but very few actually deliver. Here we have a soundbar that has so much technology packed inside that it has the potential to deliver a true Dolby Atmos 3D surround sound experience without the need of installing a lot of speakers and hiding their cables. And it also has some unique features that make it stand out in a crowd of high-end Dolby Atmos soundbars. This is the JBL Bar 1300 and without any further ado, let's get started with its review. This is the box of the JBL soundbar and these are the things you get inside. The main soundbar, two rear speakers and a subwoofer as well as a remote, an HDMI cable, power cables for the soundbar and the subwoofer, wall mounting brackets for the subwoofer and the rear speakers and some documentation including a drilling guide to mount the soundbar. The soundbar is absolutely massive. When the rear speakers are connected to the soundbar for charging, the total length of the soundbar is about 54 inches, making it suitable only for big TVs, 65 inch or more. However, without the rear speakers, the main soundbar is under 40 inches long, so it can fit under a 48 inch or a 55 inch TV as well. At the back of this soundbar, you get 4 HDMI ports, 1 optical port, 1 USB port and an Ethernet port. On the top, there are only 3 buttons, an indicator LED and 2 microphone holes. On the front, there is a display behind the grille which displays white text. The text size is pretty big and it is legible even from a distance of 10 to 15 feet. Coming to the rear speakers, they are quite sleek but dense. On the rear, you get a Type-C port to charge the speaker and 3 buttons. More on the use of these 3 buttons later in this video. The subwoofer is massive. At the rear, you get a bass reflex port, a pairing button and a power port. So in order to get good bass, keep a little gap between the subwoofer and the wall behind to ensure that there is enough airflow for the bass reflex port. The actual driver is located at the bottom. Overall, the subwoofer is devoid of any design, it's just a plain black box with rounded corners. In fact, the entire soundbar design is very understated. If you like a soundbar to blend in with your entertainment setup, this design is perfect for you. However, if you like your soundbar to stand out with some color accents or different textures or moving parts and lights, this design might feel a bit bland. I personally like this design and the whole rounded corner theme applied across the board. Coming to connectivity, the soundbar has three HDMI in ports, which is great. These ports support Dolby Vision pass-through but are limited to 4K 60Hz. So you can connect a 4K Blu-ray player or an Amazon or Android TV stick without any issue. But if you connect a gaming console or PC, you will be limited to 60Hz even if your TV supports 4K 120Hz. The HDMI output is eARC enabled to receive Dolby Atmos signal which is great. The optical port is there for compatibility with older devices but you won't get Dolby Atmos through this port. The USB port is only there for troubleshooting and firmware updates. However, if you live in the US, you can use this USB port to play music from your external drives. You also get Bluetooth connectivity. Here I am a little disappointed as even though it is such a high-end soundbar, it doesn't support any of the high-quality audio codecs like LDAC, LHDC, Aptex HD and so on. The soundbar also has Wi-Fi 6 connectivity and supports all the major streaming services like Google Chromecast, Amazon Alexa, Apple Airplay and Spotify Connect. This makes listening to music very convenient. Now let's talk about what's packed inside this massive soundbar. Starting with the main soundbar, this packs in 6 front facing racetrack drivers and 5 tweeters. There are also 4 up firing full range drivers. All these combined have an output power of 650 watts. Each of the rear speakers has one racetrack driver, one tweeter and one up-firing full range driver. There are also two passive radiators per speaker to enhance the bass. These give a combined output of 110 watts per rear speaker. Finally, the 10 inch subwoofer has an output of 300 watts, which is absolutely insane. The US version of this soundbar, which is called the Bar 1300X, comes with a 12 inch subwoofer instead of a 10 inch one. 
Together, the total output is 1170 watts, which is more than enough to fill a big 250 to 300 square feet room with great sound. All these drivers are angled in different directions to bounce sound off the ceiling and side walls to create an immersive 3D surround sound experience. In total, there are 16 different channels of audio, 11 for the front, side and rear, one for the subwoofer and four height channels where the sound comes from the ceiling. This along with the Samsung Q990 series are the only soundbars which offer this 11.1.4 channel output at least right now in early 2023. One thing that is very unique about this soundbar is the flexibility of the rear speakers. These rear speakers are truly wireless, so you don't even need to power them. They have built-in 6600 mAh batteries, which can last around 10 hours on a single charge. You can charge these speakers by magnetically attaching them to the main soundbar or via a USB Type-C port, making it very convenient. It charges at around 10 watt speed and takes about 4 hours to fully charge. Another unique thing about these rear speakers is that they can also work as standalone Bluetooth speakers. They can be configured to work as two individual Bluetooth speakers or as a stereo speaker pair. You can switch between the soundbar mode and the Bluetooth mode using the rear buttons. This feature makes the rear speakers very useful even when the soundbar is not being used. Here is an audio sample of these rear speakers working in stereo. These speakers can get extremely loud but are a bit lacking in terms of bass. Still, they sound way better than the built-in speakers of your laptop and tablets. I only have two minor issues with these rear speakers. First is that there is no battery indicator either on the speaker or in the JBL1 app. So there is a chance that the battery might run out in the middle of watching a movie which would be quite frustrating. The other issue I have with the rear speakers is the lack of end caps. You get two end caps for the main soundbar but there are no end caps for the rear speakers. So the rear speakers look incomplete from the side. Coming to the JBL1 app, this app is quite feature packed yet very easy to use. You can use it as a virtual remote, control the EQ and adjust the volume of the rear speakers. You can also calibrate your soundbar here with a simple two step procedure. This procedure involves placing the rear speakers in two different positions. In case the video and audio are out of sync, you can use the audio sync feature to minimize this delay. So overall, the JBL1 app is very useful. Still, I feel JBL should have provided a TV UI with all these features to make it even more convenient. You also get a physical remote which has all the basic features like HDMI switcher and volume controls. You can enable or disable pure voice feature which enhances the dialogue clarity. For this, you need to hold the mute button for more than 5 seconds and then press the bass button. I keep the pure voice feature enabled all the time and then adjust the equalizer from the JBL app as per my preference. Finally, let's talk about the most important thing, which is the sound quality and the Dolby Atmos 3D surround sound effect. For listening to music, I really like the JBL sound signature, which packs in some serious bass but without compromising on the clarity of the mids and highs. The sound stage is also very wide, which is pretty obvious given the number of speakers pointing in different directions. Here is a little audio sample, which obviously won't do justice to the overall wide sound stage and clarity of this soundbar, but will give you a little idea of the sound signature of the system. When you play music in Dolby Atmos from Apple Music app on the Apple TV 4K, the music listening experience gets even better. Many tracks like Ranja from Shersha take full advantage of this enhanced sound stage to make you feel like you are surrounded by all these instruments. It is the kind of feeling that cannot be expressed properly, only experienced. Coming to movies and TV shows with Dolby Atmos support, I have tested a lot of them and I am extremely impressed with the Dolby Atmos effect created by the soundbar. Some of my favorite scenes with amazing Dolby Atmos effects include Maverick's test run as well as the entire climax of Top Gun Maverick, 
the race scene from Ready Player One as well as the climax, the Daytona race scene from Ford vs Ferrari, and the Millennium Falcon intro scene from Star Wars The Force Awakens with all the TIE fighters flying around you. One of the most impressive examples to test the height channel speakers is in Season 1 Episode 1 of Midnight Mass. Towards the end of this episode, there is a storm and you can actually feel the sound of rain, wind and thunder coming from the ceiling even though there are no speakers up there. I even tested this soundbar with Dolby Atmos demos available in the Dolby Access app on PC and I was completely blown away by the pinpoint accuracy of the direction from which the sound was coming, especially the four height channels. So overall, the Dolby Atmos 3D surround sound effect of this soundbar is absolutely incredible and the sound quality is also amazing. Finally, conclusion time. The soundbar has so much going for it. From excellent Dolby Atmos effect, to dual use of the rear speakers, to support for all the music streaming apps, to a generous amount of HDMI ports, this soundbar impresses in so many ways. It is quite expensive, but with everything it offers, it more or less justifies the price. So if you're looking for a home theater-like setup, but don't want to go through the trouble of installing all the speakers and hiding all the cables, the soundbar is definitely worth considering. It comes very close to delivering a theater-like sound experience and it is also very easy to set up. Alright, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel down below. Thanks for watching.